Mac Dre. Andre Lewis Hicks, born July 5th, 1970, in Oakland, California, known by his stage name Mac Dre, was an American rapper and record producer from Vallejo, California. He was an instrumental figure in the emergence of hyphy and cultural movement in the Bay Area hip-hop scene that emerged in the early 2000s. Hicks is considered one of the movement's key pioneers that fueled his popularity into the mainstream, releasing songs with fast-paced rhymes and bass lines that inspired a new style of dance. As the founder of the independent record labeled Thiz Entertainment, Hicks recorded dozens of albums and gave aspiring rappers an outlet to release albums locally. On November 1st, 2004, Hicks was killed by an unknown assailant after a performance in Kansas City, Missouri, a case that remains unsolved. After Hicks and other Thiz Entertainment members had performed a show in Kansas City on October 31st, 2004, an unidentified gunman at the group's van as it traveled on U.S. Route 71 in the early morning hours of November 1st. The fans' driver crashed and called 911, but Hicks was pronounced dead at the scene from a bullet wound to the neck. Local rapper Anthony Fat One, I'm sorry, Anthony Fat Tone Watkins was allegedly to have been responsible for the murder, but no evidence ever surfaced and Watkins himself was shot dead the following year. Hicks' funeral took place on November 9th, 2004 at the Mount Calvary Baptist Church. He was given a public open casket viewing and then buried at the Mountain View Cemetery in Oakland. Prior to his death, the city of Vallejo began experiencing a surge in bank robberies in the early 90s. Vallejo police began focusing on the Crest neighborhood as a source of the crime. Hicks was vocal about the actions he saw being taken by the police and incorporated their aggressive surveillance of residents and music. Hicks claimed he was rapping about the attempts to wake up the neighbors as gangster rap music consistently grew into popularity. Law enforcement officials began examining the lyrics of the local rappers to utilize as evidence in criminal matters. On March 26, 1992, at the age of 21, Hicks was invited by friends to a road trip to Fresno. Hicks had performed in that city two weeks prior and decided to go on the trip so that he could revisit a woman he knew there. While driving back to Vallejo, the car was circumvented by the FBI, Fresno and Vallejo police. The police verbalized while Hicks was at a motel, his friend was allegedly casing a bank but had changed their mind when they saw the local Fresno TV news van in the bank's parking lot. When questioned by the police, Hicks verbalized that he didn't leave the hotel, therefore he didn't know anything. The police subsequently charged him with a conspiracy to commit robbery. Although no bank robbery was conducted, and Hicks was neither with his friend nor the location of the purported bank, he was sentenced to five years in federal prison after he refused a plea deal for the conspiracy charge. The trial was later listed among Complex Magazine's 30 biggest criminal trials in rap history. At the time of the conviction, Hicks owned the record label Romp Productions. Hicks was released a year early from prison for good behavior. On August 2nd, 1996, after serving four years, it was during this time in prison that Hicks developed a better appreciation for freedom, life, and fun. After Hicks and other Thiz Entertainment members had performed the show in Kansas City, Missouri on October 31st, 2004, the unidentified gunman shot at the group's van as it traveled on Route 71 in the early morning hours of November 1st. The van's driver crashed. Fat Town was known for the murder. Hicks' funeral took place on November 9th at the Mount Calvary Baptist Church. He was given a public open casket view.